Hi friends, it's Julia. I'm here to share a layout that I created using the mini kit that I just showed you uh, for an online scrapbooking um, crop that I participated in sponsored by Scrapbook Generation. Uh, the kit itself is called Rebecca and I believe it was their November kit, um, November 2019 kit from Felicity Jane. And yeah, I think you saw from the photos that I had pulled in some additional embellishments as well as some alphabets um, and other things to create a little mini kit. Um, one of the challenges was to create a mini kit um, and I decided to use it for the weekend for scrapbooking. Now this is the first layout that I did and I'm using, I had pulled in the cardstock to the kit um, and so I just used the white background paper and then a couple of the pattern papers that I had pulled in. Now the red paper there at the bottom is not actually a Felicity Jane paper, it is actually a um, SEI paper um, and it's one that I've had in my stash for a long while but I loved it and I felt like the colors went well with this kit so I pulled it in. Same with the yellow paper that you will see here in just a minute. It's one that I absolutely adored and I want to say it's an old Echo Park paper um, uh, but I don't remember right off the top of my head but I'm pretty sure it's an old Echo Park paper. Anywho, so uh, the photos themselves in this layout are from a weekend that my husband and I went to uh, Dallas. He was going to participate in a, um, I think, a half marathon. And I had decided to go along because it was National Scrapbook Day weekend. And I find that if I scrapbook away from home, I tend to get a little bit more done. And so when I decide to go with him on these little jaunts that he takes to go uh, run in a scrapbook or uh, run in a half marathon someplace, I take my scrapbook supplies along and end up staying in the room. Well, he always tries to find us a room that will have adequate scrapbooking space. And so that's what you see here. This is the room. And I, I'm kind of um, emphasizing those photos there in the middle on that big table um, that's there in the center. It's like a desk type table um, and then the long dresser there um, I have plenty of room to spread out plus there was a coffee table over in front of the little sofa that was in there it was a suite and so sofa on half the room bed on the other divided by a table slash desk um, and there was tons of room to spread out. Now, I did take quite a few supplies with me. You can't see them in these photos because we had just walked in the door. And so uh, my next layout, I believe, shows uh, what the room looks like in total chaos mode when I spread my stuff out. And I think I did fairly well that weekend. I scrapbooked, I think, probably 15 or 20 pages which is okay with me. Plus, we still had time to do other things as well. So you see where I put that little wooden tag down. I had added that into the kit, and then I have May on top of it. Well, that May was from Freckled Fawn, and it is actually a wood veneer embellishment that actually said March. Yeah, the H is the Y turned upside down. It had broke. Um, it had been broken um, in transit. And so uh, you can't tell it, but the Y is put back together in several places. What was the original H? Plus the March had been broken in half as well. And I think it was like in the middle of the R. Um, so I just kind of manipulated a little bit and cut off what I wanted to cut off to generate the word May. Um, yeah, and so I thought that was a pretty cool idea. I am following along a sketch this time, but it is not a scrapbook generation sketch. It is actually a page map sketch. Um, I had pulled up a ton of older page, well, from this year, page map sketches from this year, and I just laid them out um, on my computer screen that's across the room, and I'm using those to uh, generate some scrapbook layouts this month um, or with this mini kit. Um, plus, I think I did pull in at least one Scrapbook Generations two-page sketch as well. But you can see, I'm just going through and I'm adding in some of those border strips that I had uh, from the cut-off pieces of the paper. 
Um, I'm just adding those about um, at this point. Some are um, different bits from the ephemera pack that uh, were bits and pieces cut apart, but most of them are from like branding strips that were on the pattern paper that I cut off. Now, this kit did come with journal spots, the three by four journal spots. So I just found one that uh, said thankful um, on the inside of it. And rather than journal on it or around it, I just cut it down to go into that uh, frame there, that wood veneer frame. And I'm just going to use it as an embellishment. So there, uh, again, branding strips and... Um, I'm just going through and I'm trimming those down so that white's not on the top. So plus two, I want them to be different sizes. Um, I don't want them all to be the same um, width. I want them to be uh, thinner and thicker, if you will, to kind of layer up those, those different branding strips. I really, really love <laughs> this this paper. Um, it is by far um, one of my favorite color schemes. But anytime you have, uh, if you will, a fall color theme where you have um, the more muted shades of black and rust and red and gold and green, you know, you're in my color family. And if you walk through my house, those are the colors my house is decorated in year round. It's not something that, you know, I just use in my scrapbooking layouts fairly frequently. It's something that I use in my own home decorating. Um, my husband has kind of frowned upon me using too much green, but I will tell you, I do have a green sofa in my living room uh, and a green love sofa that I've got in my bedroom. So, <laughs> Yeah, I know. I, I was born in the wrong generation, um, and I should have been back in the day when they had the Harvest Gold and the Avocado Green furniture and appliances and everything. Totally my favorite colors. Anyway, you see there, I'm just putting that border strip there. Um, I just clipped off a piece of it, um, and I'm stretching it along there, just layering those up to give it some added dimension on the layout and some added interest. I am loving how this uh, layout is coming together. I love how uh, I have been able to utilize some washi strips um, from that washi pack that I added in. And I'm going through the die cuts and looking to see what else I can use. This is one of those layouts where I felt like I got a ton of embellishments on them on here, but it's not so much that it's overwhelming the photos because they still take precedence among, you know, all the way around. And you can see, I love that I found those little paint chips in the um, embellishment pack um, or color swatches, whatever you want to call them. Um, and they have phrases on them that say, remember, lovely, XOXO, and smile. And that's really and truly how I felt about the, the weekend. I wanted to um, just kind of document a little bit of our story. Um, and I did. Uh, in the end, I did put some um, oh label stickers down. And I, I documented a little bit about my husband always finding hotel rooms with adequate space for me to scrapbook when we go. Um, and we tend to, the first weekend in May is always an opening season for horse races as well. He goes and does these half marathons, and it's really a multi-event weekend. Not only does he plan to go run uh, and plan for me to go scrapbook, but he also plans to go to the horse races in Arlington um, that's close to um, the Dallas area where he's running at. And here, um, that first weekend is National Scrap Weekend, plus it's always like the first leg of the Triple Crown, and so we're always at a horse race somewhere um, or in the vicinity of a horse race so that he can go gamble or watch the horse races or whatever. Um, so that's what we're doing that weekend. So, um, and, and that's, a, that's a piece of our story that's been going on for years and years. It used to be I would go to the horse races with him, um, but I really found that um, I would take a book with me and keep my nose buried in the book, and I never really paid that much attention to the horse races. And I felt like I was dragging him down 
Um, and I felt like he was trying to cater to me and keep me interested in the horse races when I have no interest in them. Um, and so it really wasn't fun for him to take me along. Um, and so <laughs> we learned that I like to go and travel with him. I like to get in the car and ride. I like to stay in a hotel room, but I don't necessarily like the whole horse race adventure. So I've learned I take my scrapbooking stuff and books and stuff. And so I'm content to stay in a hotel room and read or scrapbook um, or even go out on my own and do some shopping on my own. It's just dependent. Um, but I, I'm pretty OK with staying in a hotel room. You can see I have that Sticko alphabet and it has a wood veneer feel to it. It it has a um, wood look to it, um, even though it's a chipboard alphabet and that little studio calico. I did have it in, a, in another kit that I recently finished off and I never used that alphabet tiles. There's actually two sets there. And I did not use them because that is my favorite color of that peachy blush color. Um, and I just could not find it in me to use it. And so I put it back in my stash. So when I was pulling this kit together and it has that beautiful blush shade, it's a, it's a much paler version of that same color. Um, I thought I need to use that. I have to use that color. I have to use those letter tiles because it's perfect. So I'm, I'm thinking subconsciously, I probably knew that I would be ordering a kit that had that color scheme and I needed to save that alpha, right? Makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm glad I finally pulled it out and it says holiday retreat uh, as my title. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to add these bling strips, um, if you will. I think the original inspiration layout had something that went completely across there. But rather than put something across there um, paper wise, I just used the bling strip to go across there um, to connect those two sides together. So yeah, I'm just going through to see what else I might want to use. And I am I think I'm looking for something to journal on right now. And I don't necessarily have anything that I want to journal on. Um, and so I'm going to pull some label stickers up here in just a minute. I don't know if I come to that conclusion right now or if it's in a few minutes. I am adding some tabs uh, along the top and on the right side or the, yeah, the right side of that far photo and then over the top. I'm adding a half of a label there, um, and it's basically to put down um, the date and where we're at. Or Sorry, it, the top one there says National Scrapbook Day, NSD Weekend. And then the other one uh, is telling, um, it says first weekend in May. So we have a clue or I have a clue when I look at this layout, you know, in 20 years, exactly what it means. Or if my kids look at it, they'll know. And here are the label stickers that I add down to do my journaling on. And I'm going to go through and put some finishing touches on some flat back pearls and some floral embellishments and that kind of thing here in just a second. Um, but I want to say thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for um, always showing up and leaving such kind comments and liking um, what I'm, the content that I create, I really do appreciate that. And I, I appreciate your subscription, um, to my channel. It just makes me know that somehow or another, what I do is interesting to you. And I hope and pray that it inspires you to get into your stash and create things. Um, because really and truly that's what this hobby is all about is, uh, creating beautiful pages to sustain our memories um, you know, and to pass those memories uh, in a beautiful way onto our children and grandchildren. And I hope I inspire you to get into your stuff and, and do that. Anyway, um, that's about it for my layout. I'm putting the final finishing touches on here. And again, thank you guys so much. And I will see you on the next video. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.